Hi students, this is Uma Mageshwari, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of English from St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Kadalur. In this video, we are going to discuss the characters from the drama Every Man. The characters in the play are Every Man, Death, Good Deeds, Knowledge, Five Wits, Goods, Kindred, Angels, Strength, God, Confession, Beauty, Discretion, Fellowship, Doctor and Messenger. First, we are going to discuss the title character Every Man. Every Man representing all humankind, Every Man begins the play entrenched in worldly vices such as lust and greed. However, when God asks death to visit every man and ask him to prepare a reckoning, every man panics and begins asking for help where he has typically found it from his friends, his family and his wealth. The turning point of every man's character and of the play overall is every man's realization that nobody can help him besides good deeds and knowledge. Through them, he learns to purge his sins and reject the material world in favor of the divine. Next character, Death. Death is God's messenger in the drama. He informs every man that he must take a pilgrimage to his grave and be called to account for his actions on earth. Though death obviously represents death, it's important to note that in the Christian world view of the play, death re doesn't represent the end for every man, but rather the transition of his soul from earth to the afterlife. Knowledge, the sister of good deeds, who guides every man on his pilgrimage when good deeds is still too weak to do so. She represents knowledge, not knowledge in general, but the specific knowledge and teachings of the Catholic Church and she instructs every man to repent for his sins and take Catholic sacraments. Knowledge and good deeds are the only companions to stay with every man until his death, which shows that knowledge is essential for navigating life on earth but she ultimately leaves him when he dies. This shows allegorically that knowledge is unhelpful on judgment day. Good Deeds Good Deeds is the personification of every man's good deeds. She is weak when she is introduced as every man's sinful behavior has depleted her, but she becomes stronger and stronger as every man purges his sins. Good Deeds accompanies every man on his pilgrimage and she is the only one of his friends who is able to stay with him when he meets God, though her sister knowledge comes close. Because of this, Good Deeds is shown to be the most essential of every man's companions. Metaphorically, this instructs the audience that doing good deeds is the only behavior that can get a person into heaven. Five Wits Five wits is the personification of five wits, which is another way of saying the five senses of sight, sound, touch, taste and smell. Five wits is a companion to every man who regards five wits as his best friend until five wits abandons him. This shows that though the senses are enticing and helpful on earth, they have no place in heaven and cannot lead to salvation. Next character, God. God appears in the play only once. He criticizes every man's sinfulness and his ungrateful disregard of Christ's sacrifice for humanity and then orders death to summon every man. Next character, Confession. The personification of Confession, he is described as both a cleansing river and a holy man who lives in a house of salvation. He helps purge every man of his sins and gives him the gift of penance. Next character, beauty. The personification of beauty and thus a face out of the material world. Beauty joins every man on his pilgrimage but forsakes him 
when he asks her to die for him. This shows that beauty is fickle and irrelevant in heaven. Next character, discretion. One of every man's companions, discretion represents the ability to make judgments and choices. He abandons every man to follow strength. Fellowship, personifying friendship. Fellowship is one of every man's friends. Though every man asks for his help on the pilgrimage, fellowship abandons every man after learning that he will soon die, willing to help every man only for his own amusement. Goods Though long loved by every man, Goods, the personification of wealth in the play, abandons every man when every man asks him to join his pilgrimage. A thief of souls, goods is often destructive and deceitful, leading a thousand people to hell. Next character, cousin. Every man's cousin who abandons every man in his time of need to save himself and to prepare his own reckoning. Kindred, another character. Every man's kindred who refuses to accompany every man on his journey after promising to remain loyal to him. Next character, Angel, appearing only once at the end of the play. Doctor, another character, delivering the play's epilogue, the doctor summarizes the moral of the story. We can only rely on our good deeds for comfort and salvation and we must clear our reckonings while we are still alive lest we suffer eternally in hell. Next character, Messenger. Like God, the messenger appears only once at the very beginning of the play where he calls for the audience attention and presents every man as a moral play. Thank you.